Ladies and gentlemen of Knucklehead Nation, if you've been following us, you know who this is. It's none other than Black House's striking coach extraordinaire, Coach Raging. How are you, sir? I'm awesome. Thank you for having me. Man, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. I mean, every time I come here, I feel like it's almost like a religious temple of fighting or something like that and I get nervous and I feel like you know <laughs> you know what I mean like I like it yeah uh, I yeah. like it I mean, I'm a Catholic a kid sanctuary of pain yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> where we come to pay penance right yeah. uh, Coach Rage man you gave me the opportunity to interview a lot of your young talent today very impressive we got some footage of them training not too much yeah. you know I understand that but thank you for giving us the access my pleasure uh, and it looks like a very strong brood that you've got going on here that you're very excited about I'm very excited and and honestly we are really fortunate right we've got a group of amateurs but they train like professionals and they train with professionals right, right. and we have our own strength to be power specialist that takes it to the ringer five days. Is so, that Math Matthias? Matthias? Matthias. Yeah, Matthias Narducci. He's an international consultant and we're lucky enough to have access to him. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. And you mentioned, you know, you got these young kids training with professionals. I mean, I saw a who's who in here today, <laughs> you know, and I'm sure this happens, what, every day or so? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and it's a it's a it's a different group. There's we have our we have our regulars, and then we have our irregulars that come in. Uh, so on on Mondays you'll find world class wrestlers. On Wednesdays, black belts from Czech Mac coming in, world champions coming in, jiu jitsu guys, uh, and then Friday, Friday sparring. So I love we, uh, it. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. All over California and sometimes all over the world. We just uh, incredible talent pops in. For sure, for sure. Um, engage your rage. It's right there on the shirt. Ire, baby. E Y R. Ire. Um, that's kind of your, you know, that's your thing. That's your team within a team. Exactly. You know, we've exactly. discussed it. So. The name of the team is the Iyer Division right. at Black House. Right. So we are a Black House team. But my fighters train striking exclusively with me. They train grappling exclusively with Kenny Johnson. Right. They do strength exclusively with Matthias Narducci. And it's not that we're anti-social. We're a team. And we are hyper -focused. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we've discussed this on the channel before, but... If you could kind of tell me about EOIR in a nutshell. EYR? I'm I sorry. Are, that's okay. EYR in a nutshell because for me it's it's awesome. It's fascinating. You know, you kind of look, among other things, to end the fight as yes. soon as possible. Yes. I really like that philosophy. Kind of tell so, me a little bit about it. IR is unique in this space in that I encourage all my fighters to actually get in touch with their emotions and use their emotions rather than try and avoid their emotions. So it's pretty common in, in martial arts to not fight angry, be calm, be serene. Hey, that's cool. That's for you guys. For my guys, engage your rage, but engage it into your technique. So it's the difference of, between being angry and being controlled by your anger, that's where you make mistakes. But if you harness your anger and you control your anger, mm -hmm. put your anger where it should be. Mm -hmm. Now we're on to something. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to talk about it than do it, but it's what we do. And we're fun to watch because we always right, come to right, fight. Right, right, right. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. You know, I think this is great timing because, and I know you. You don't like the way he boxes, but we just saw Yuri Prohaska uh, knock oh, out. Oh, 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 Listen, I that's not boxing. You can't call that boxing. I know, boxing. I know, I know, boxing. I know, I know. All I'm saying about him is he would be so much better if he could actually box, if he actually learned yeah. some head yeah. movement, keeping yeah. the hands where they belong. I love the guy. Yeah. And I love his mindset. Right. I'm sorry to interrupt. You were saying this is a good time because of Yuri. Well, well, he, he was just on an interview where he talked about how he harnesses his emotions oh. 
Yeah, so I mean, for you to say this yeah. and for that to have just happened, yeah. and he's like getting a title yeah. shot already. He needs to come find me. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, if you hear that, we're here at Black House in Southern California. It's yeah. the Mecca, brother. You Compton, might want to come. You might want to come see Coach Rage. Uh, but yeah, he was kind of talking about, you know, he lives in the forest kind of thing, and and he reads books on, you know, Musashi and stuff, and he's trying to engage his emotions and fighting and yes. he says uh you know he fights angry in some spots and he brings it down in others yeah, yeah. yeah i think it's very relevant see, like i saying. said there's a lot that i see in him that i love yeah, yeah. i just think he can be a little more technical yeah, yeah. especially when it comes to the hands up box yeah you know i would definitely agree with that as well as a kickboxing <laughs> promoter i'm watching yeah. it with his hands down i'm freaking out but a lot of fun to watch. A lot of fun to watch. Uh, Coach Rage, so the EYR division, man. IR division. IR division. So IR, EYR, yeah. engage your rage. Yeah, yeah. Pronounced like IR, which Don't, means anger. Right, right. I said that on Facebook <laughs> one time, I think. I made like a goofy yeah, pun. Yeah. Um, and we are the IR division. The IR division has grown. It's grown. Every time I come to see you, yes. I feel like you got a few yes. more kids here. Yeah. People come in, but not a lot stay. Because, listen, we train hard, we fight hard, and the shit I talk about is scary. But guess what? You get in a cage. Right, right, right. That is scary. And if you're not ready to face that, don't do this sport. Right, right, right. And, you know, I also talked to uh, Quincy today about... Uh, <laughs> there's guys behind us fighting. Uh, I talked to Quincy today about um you know about the difference in mentality mm. between a fighter and an athlete which you know me definitely more of an athlete than a fighter right as a promoter as well you know i didn't notice the difference as much but with time you know i've been seeing there's a stark difference here between fighters and athletes stark there is and and the challenge is that we need to be both we need to be fighter and athletes and I used to say I can take any fighter and make him an athlete. I don't think that's true. I know I can't take an athlete and make him a fighter. I can't take anyone that's not a fighter and make him a fighter. Right. Uh, being a fighter, I don't know the formula for that, but it's messed up stuff that happens in your childhood. Uh, <laughs> epigenetic. I don't. So I don't real. Know, so but, real. Uh, if you're not already a fighter by the time you come in here, I'm not the right coach for you, and I think this is not the right sport for you. Um, being an athlete, that's about, we have formulas for that. Yeah, yeah. We have science for that. But it takes commitment, dedication, and belief. And that's why I say I, I'm not so sure that I can make any fighter an athlete anymore. Right, right. Because some fighters don't have the discipline and the harder you try to make them do something, the more they push against it. No, no. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, they're a little defiant. <laughs> so I got to ask this question, sort of an analogy, right? Um, and you're a coach and nobody would have, I think, better insight to this than you. Is being a fighter kind of the same as having punching power or not? You're kind of born with it or you're not? Uh, no, because... Uh, no. No, because something happens that makes people right. become a fighter. Right. Right? So you can go from prey to predator. You can make that switch. We have we have that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's possible, but uh, as far as like the genetic makeup, fast switch motor units and proper bone alignment, all that stuff that gives you unbelievable punching power yeah, that yeah. there's a genetic component there however where i my contention is saying that punchers are born uh because you can take somebody with low and moderate punching power and increase their punching power if if you know what you're doing both technically and in the, in the strength of the strength yeah. um, so but yeah, yeah. yeah you're either a fighter or you're not what makes you a fighter? I don't know, but I can tell instantly if you are a fighter. I love that. That was, 
that was kind of my next question. You know, when a guy walks in here, how many like minutes does it take Rage to decide? Okay. Here's the thing: most most athletes uh, find out my name is Rage, and they <laughs> <laughs> they pick another coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real quick, uh, and then it's one conversation, and the sh stuff I say is crazy. Right, right. Stuff I say is crazy. Right. But we're in a cage. Right, this right, is crazy. Right, 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 right. Coach Ray. We're in a cage with giants. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was big almost. And, and then I see these, these guys. I thought we were big, Coach Ray. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to work with you again, man. When do you think this goofy pandemic is going to be over for me and you man. to start working together again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've all we can do, all we can do is hope and pray. Listen, you know, I, we can complain about the pandemic, right? But it's, it's just a circumstance. And both you and I, whatever it takes, we, let's, we've had our gyms break before. Okay, we're training in the park. We, we, right, we, right, right. we have to be flexible. We have to figure it out. And that's what we do. And same thing with promotion. Then I was at one of your shows when the ambulance messed up and he said, hey, yeah, well, yeah. we figure it out. Yeah, we yeah. figure it out. Yeah, so yeah. whatever, we're figuring it out. Uh, sure. Let's 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 pray for August and uh, keep our fingers let's crossed. Get it but done. We're gonna be ready. For sure, for sure. Regardless of what the you know higher ups or the, the rule makers or the decision makers, whatever they say, hey, we play yeah. by. But uh, we're going to be ready. For sure. We're for ready sure. now. <laughs> it looks like it. Coach Rage, you've also got a, you know, a pretty active YouTube channel, some social media. Kind of let people know where they can follow. Hey, uh, yeah. So if you're watching this on YouTube, my name's Rage, R-A-G-E. Last name is spelled N-G. I'm Raging. Uh, just search Rage Ing on YouTube and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, same name on Instagram and Facebook. Look forward to meeting you. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Raging, thank you so much for your time, Coach. Appreciate you.